I'm gonna come over and like speed up to come over. Road rage. This is my stomach, guys. I legit could eat off of my stomach. Put a plate here and eat like. <laughs> this angle's hilarious to me. Hi guys! I feel like every vlog now we're in the car. We are on our way to see two vehicles because it's just not happening with this car anymore. Trev and I have two car seats in the back. I'm literally kissing the dash of the car because I have no space. So we're going to see if we can find an SUV. Ideally, I want a seven-seater. Trev, uh, I don't know if he so much wants a seven-seater. Like, uh, I want a convertible. You want a convertible? Where are you going to put the kids? Uh, Outside? Four-seater convertible. Put the kids in the back, drop the top, and let the breeze move. He's an idiot. So yeah, seven-seater SUV. I'm looking at an Acura MDX right now. That is my preference. So we're going to go see one. It's just seven minutes away, so not too far. And then we plan on going to see another one, which is in a completely different town. When I put, punch it into my GPS, it's at an hour and a half away. But that one is white, and I really, really, really want white. So gonna head there now. Hopefully, wish us luck that we find something. I am due, when I tell you any day, like any day, any second, I have an induction date set in less than a week. So that means that this is going to be my last vlog pregnant. Oh my god, Zaya, I wish you guys could see right here. She's sticking up. I can like feel her bum or her something sticking up right here. But I'm wearing black, so you all probably can't see. Okay, so we're almost at the dealership. I'll show you guys the vehicle when we get there. Just pray for us. Pray that we get something. Because this right here, this, I, I had to take off one of the car seats. And I have it like in the middle because it just was not happening. Mm -mm. Yeah, you might need your wallet to pay. You're planning on driving off without paying? Yo, it's called Grand Theft Auto, girl. <laughs> well, listen, you got two children to mind. Thank you. You trying to say my breast smells? No, I would have told you that shrill. All right. We're here. Can we get a piece of gum? I have to pee so bad. Oh, I struggle. All right, let me show you guys the car. So this is a car, the black one, the Acura. Is this it, Trev? Yeah. The brown interior. It has brown interior. Hey guys. A little bit of scuffs. I wonder why they have it running and there's nobody inside. This is what I want, an Acura MDX. Anyways, let's see if we can find somebody that can help us. Take in these chocolate seeds, bro. Ugh, I can't even deal. This leather's so nice. But Trev's saying that he thinks it was in an accident. Cause some of the lines, some of the lines don't line up. Don't watch these ratchet nails. Second one. But like, look at what the leather does when it's a light leather. It's like somebody pooed on the seats. This color's nice though. I like this color. This color's so nice. But I think we're gonna go see the white one. I'm back in the car. It's kind of cold out there. So we saw two at this place, the black one with the brown leather interior, which was so nice, but you can tell it's been in an accident. Like you touch around and you can see like the lines are just not lining up. Then we just saw the other one that I just showed you guys, which was more of like a grayish color, but the leather inside was nasty. It was too light. And also when you wear like dark denim and somebody comes and sits in that, it's a wrap because if the denim transfers onto the seats, your seats begin to die. And I think that's what's happened. So we've decided that we're just gonna go see the white one. 
for the other dealership. You took his card. What do you think, Trev? No, it's been in an accident. The other one's nice, but not yeah. the interior and not the. Uh, see the difference with the Elite? The Elite yeah. has the automatic trunk opener closed. Yeah, shutter. the first one had automatic yeah. trunk opener and, and uh, whatever. Navigation. And navigation. And which is not a big deal if we don't get door. those features, but. I mean, I'm not gonna sacrifice and have like ripped up leather. So off we go to the next place now. <sighs> we just got here. I think I need a GPS just to find the front door. We have been driving for an hour and a half. I promise you. Probably an hour and 45 to two hours because of traffic. Yeah, there was so much traffic because of the time. It's like 5 p.m. So, you know, people are just finishing work. We just got here. It's a Toyota dealership. I don't know if you guys can see the sign over there. We're gonna go look at it. I swear to God, if it's a waste of time, I'm going to be pissed. Cause y'all know I have to pee again. So let me get out of here. So there it is over there, the white one. Are we gonna just look at it first? Imagine this is like somebody's car and it's not the actual. <sighs> They couldn't just wash it for us. It's looking so dirty. But I love the white. The white is so clean. Huh? It has a bit of rust. Like it's a, just like a little dot. At the front. Yeah, and cracks. Oh, don't piss me off. What the hell? Didn't she say it was clean? This is a joke. Like, you guys, it's not even showing up well on the camera, but it is not as clean as I thought it would be. And look, there's a crack here. Oh, shoot. Let's go inside and talk to somebody. I'm so upset. You guys have absolutely no idea. When I tell you this place is like got behind God's back, I'm not lying. It's so far. Then the lady's like, oh, it is clean. I was like, I thought you said this vehicle's clean. How is it the, the windshield's, no, not the windshield. Side views, Side views crack, busted. The Paint's pearl, coming off. Coming She's like, off. this could be cleaned. I'm like, it's paint, paint coming off. Yeah. You need to repaint it. I said, it took me an hour and a half to get here. Just because you want to sale doesn't mean you have to lie. Like, tell people the truth. So now, an hour and a half to get back. I didn't. Two hours we, easily. Yeah, because of traffic. I'm so annoyed. Don't piss off a pregnant woman. Especially one that has to pee so bad. Well, on the plus side, I use their washroom. Yeah, I use their washroom too. By the way, um, I was like, I looked at it and I was looking, I caught that at the last second. What? The knot, it wasn't taped off properly. Yeah. So I was like. No and then you can see the difference in color. Oh yeah, that's another thing. It, like one of the panels, you can see that was repainted, and it wasn't paint. It wasn't taped off when it was repainted. So there's paint on the front light. <sighs> God is good. We will find uh, something. I have an hour and forty minute drive back home. Let me see. Uh, it shows. Yeah, an hour. It's not even focusing. An hour and 40 minutes, guys. Hour and 20, sorry, hour 21 had recalculated. Oh, yeah, probably recalculated. Maybe putting us on a toll route, who knows. But basically, it's gonna take us forever to get back. <sighs> hey guys, back home. Chef cooking. Yeah, I'm trying to make a little something something. Making some soup. It took us like two hours to get home. So here's just like some provision. If you're West Indian, you know what that is. We're pressuring some cow heel and some pigtail. And then I made some dumplings and then we have the soup packages as well that are gonna go in it. And look at the time. Yeah, 10.30. I know, ridiculous. So it took us a really long time to get home. Can I borrow this please? I'm gonna read in my 35 week update. I'm gonna bring you guys to the bathroom because the lighting's better there. That's one thing I'm looking forward to in our new house. It's better lighting. Cause our walls are gonna be painted white so you'll be able to see us better. I took off my lipstick cause 
I needed to eat. Okay, so let me just make sure that you guys don't fall into the toilet because that wouldn't be good. But I'm going to read you guys my 35 week update. This is going to be my last pregnancy update vlog, guys. It's crazy. The time has gone by fast, I think. Up until week 32, I was good. Week 32, it like <laughs> went downhill. Not downhill, don't get me wrong. Honestly, I've had a really good pregnancy, but it has been difficult since week 32. As you can imagine, with two babies, it's super heavy. I'm carrying like 10 and a half pounds, maybe 11 pounds of just baby alone in my stomach. That doesn't include placenta, that doesn't include water weight, that doesn't include everything else going on in my body. I've gained, last I've checked, I think it was like 55 pounds. I think I'm probably gonna hit about the 60 pound mark. I've been complaining, my husband is honestly an angel because I complain all the time about my back hurting, about being tired, about being hungry, about lower stomach pressure, and that has been ever since week 32. I am going to be 36 weeks on Friday. I do have an induction date set, so if I don't give birth in the next couple of days, I am going to be induced. So I do have an end date, which is good because at least I know that this is coming to an end soon and I can feel normal again. I'm looking forward to just being able to tie my shoe, to being able to do the little things, not completely depend on my husband because I'm like, in, even though like in a relationship, it's obviously nice to be able to depend on your partner. I still want that bit of independence and it's been very, very difficult my back's hurting while I'm talking to you guys. Let me just get to this 35 week update to read you guys how my babies are doing. So it says, your baby's growing. Now weighs about 5.25 pounds. Times that by two, so that's 2.4 kilograms and measures approximately 18 inches, which is 45 centimeters from head to toe. His elbow, Foot or head may protrude from your stomach when he stretches and squirms about. Soon as the wall of your uterus and your abdominal stretch thinner and let in more light, your baby will be begin to develop daily activity cycles. This week, your little one is now sporting fingernails and has a fully developed pair of kidneys. His liver can also process some waste products. There's much less amniotic fluid and much more baby in your uterus, which also expanded to a thousand times its original size. You've probably put on between 25 to 30 pounds, <laughs> times that by two, closer to the 60 pound mark, and your weight gain has hit its peak. Even your belly button has gotten bigger and has popped outward. You may be feeling breathless, clearly. The top of your uterus is up under your ribs. Try getting down on all fours to take deep, deep breaths. Although the pressure on your bladder will make the bathroom your second home, don't drink any less water. Your baby needs the fluids. I pee roughly three to four times a night. I've been sleeping pretty well. I find that in the evening time is when I complain the most because at that point my ankles are swollen, my fingers are swollen, my back is hurting from just being on my feet. Even if I'm not on my feet for a long period of time, as you guys can see, like I've gained a lot of weight in like my ch my face, my neck, my arms, <laughs> my stomach, my everything. I'm gonna show you guys my stomach, give you guys a belly shot. We'll do it from this mirror. I'm wearing black, so you can't tell too much. And I just needed flour and water, so sorry if my shirt's all dirty. But this is from the front. This is from the side. I'm going to lift this up. My stomach has dropped a lot. Um, I don't know if it's really apparent right now, but it has. I have gotten stretch marks. As you guys can see, I have black ones here. All at the bottom of my stomach, I have like the white ones. But you know what? It's a part of the process. I know for a fact that I'm going to get beautiful blessings from this, so I'm not really stressing it. I don't have dark ones here. Well, I do, but you can't hardly see them. But this belly is extremely heavy. 
Oh, there's a better view. As you can see, it's kind of gone down. So that is my belly, guys. So back to what I was saying. Induction date in less than a week. I don't want to give you guys the date, but pray for me. Pray that my labor goes smoothly. Currently, the babies are both head down. I know some people had questions about whether or not I'm going to be delivering them vaginally or if I'm getting a cesarean. As of right now, the plan is vaginally. However, it completely depends on a few factors. If I dilate, it depends on if the second baby has stress from the first baby coming out vaginally, then they may have to cut for the second baby. So there's a lot of factors. So just pray for me. Pray that everything goes smoothly. Pray that the babies come out healthy. That is all I ask for because honestly, whether they have to cut me or vaginally, I just want my children to be happy. No, I want them to be happy, but I want them to be healthy. Definitely to come out healthy. I'm going to say bye for now. This is probably going to be the last vlog again that you're going to see of me with this belly. If you guys aren't following us, my husband and I on Instagram, make sure to follow us there. And also Snapchat. I know I'll be updating that before I update my vlogs. And I want to thank all my new subscribers as well as my old subscribers. You guys are just amazing. It's so incredible that I feel like I have a family of friends on this platform that they call YouTube where people actually care about me, leave incredible comments, saying that they're waiting for my vlogs, waiting to hear about my life and what's going on. And I just appreciate all the love and support. And I appreciate all the prayers in advance. So until next time, guys, I will be seeing you with my two lovely ones named Zara and Zaya. Thank you guys for all the support during my pregnancy vlogs. And I will see you in a few weeks. Bye. Hey, guys. <clears throat> it's me. It is a Sunday night and I just came back from an event and I am in my bathroom. I am going to take a pregnancy test and I'm shitting myself. I am just a couple days late with my period, which is really not a big deal, but I haven't been feeling too well. I've been getting a lot of cramping in my stomach and usually my period is on time. Just to clear my mind, I am going to take this. So we shall see what it reads. I'll be back. So, <laughs> can you guys see? It has two lines.